Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Um, today I'm up in Louisville and we are getting some last minute prep done on my car and Dallas's car right before Riverside, which is one week away from today. Um, this video should come out before the show. So yeah, we're just getting some last minute things done. Dallas is kind of getting his car tidied up a little bit and then we still need to tuck his wiring harness and uh, well, his car needs a lot more work than mine does, but mine, I'm basically just throwing my VIP modulars back on. Um, rebuilt one of them the other week, seems to be holding air, and then I am switching out my headlights and wiring in the halos. That's pretty much it for my car for right now. I was hoping that I was gonna have the bumper back this weekend from paint. Uh, if you guys remember from a couple videos back, my Vleen bumper. It's not done yet. Uh, it's gonna get painted next week, and I guess I'll throw it on right before the show, so. Yeah, let me show you these uh, these headlights. You got to see the difference. And I haven't actually had a chance in a video to talk you guys through what was done to those headlights specifically, like the work that went into them. Um, what's different from the stock ones? Obviously, how we did it. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at them. All right, so this is probably the best way to look at them because you can see the comparison between the new ones and the stock ones. These are obviously old and faded these were just pulled out of a junkyard to run on the car when i don't have these but um they're filthy and boring looking and then these look super fucking crazy um q45 projectors and then these are i believe they're like the profile full beams led full beams um we got them because they kind of look like a mini q45 in there um and then i got halos on here which i haven't wired up yet and that's what all of this is so we're gonna go ahead and tackle that today. Finally got the right controller for those. Um, but yeah, let me run you through all of the work that went into making these. All right, so I threw these in the trunk just so that I can uh, get them in the shade and you can see them a little better. So basically these are like one-off custom made. Um, anybody that knows putting a, a real Q45 projector in one of these is super difficult because uh, the projector is huge and it'll actually hit the front of the lens right here. This one is right now, it is pretty close, um, but the problem is, is it's, it's just super hard to get that mounted without doing some super sketchy way of mounting it in there and it moving around and shit, like this example. This one's not as bad, but you can clearly see it wasn't set up very, you know, very correctly. And then this one, well, this one is secure, but I mean, the fitment sucks. Now, clearly that was an example of how not to do it. That is a buddy of mine who bought a set that somebody made for really cheap and they're horrible. These, obviously, if you shake them, they're not gonna move. And that is because basically a custom made bracket was 3D printed out of metal. Like it was obviously, we sent everything off. Um, it, was, it was scanned, uh, designed in CAD software, 3D printed plastic ones, you know, mocked everything up and then um, 3D printed it out of metal uh, to have a bracket that holds it in there. I'll throw some pictures on the screen. That took a really long time and it's a super expensive process. Uh, so it's not like it's something that you can easily replicate. Um, but that is how these were done, was just fully custom bracket and uh, everything's solid. I can show you the backs. I can't really see that well, it's kind of dark, but these, are, these have been resealed. Um, they hold amazing. And then I just need to tape over this because it's like a factory air duct and I don't have the rubber thing for it. And then same thing with this and here, you just got to put some tape on there and it, it seals perfectly. Um, this wiring is for the halos. And yeah, these just plug up and that's it. All right, we have headlights on the car. The wiring was shitty, but they're on there. I found the app. If I pull it up. Oh, wait, there it was. Go right on here. Hit the power on button. Boom, we got halos. They're bright as fuck. But nice thing is, you can turn the brightness down. And so much better. I'm stoked. Got all kinds of fancy bullshit ass modes and shit. The only thing you'll ever see me do on this is either white or purple. Like this shit absolutely not riciest thing i've ever seen so yeah all i really gotta do now for today at least is put the wheels back on which we don't have a jack so we need to figure that out 
But yeah, I'm gonna post a link in the description to the halos, because I know people are gonna post in the comments, where do you get the halos from? I don't actually know right now. I'm gonna have my buddy send me the link to them, and then I'll list it in the description if you guys wanna get them for an LS. Um, yeah, the front bumper is obviously still messed up, and I have my Vleen bumper from a couple episodes ago that is getting painted this week. Um, I was hoping I was gonna have it this weekend, but it's not, still needs a little bit more prep work. So hopefully that'll get done this week and I'll put it on right before the show. Um, Cause I really, really do not want to show this car with this bumper on it. Like all of the paint, all of the paint is literally just coming off right here from where I uh, tried to enter Chandler's driveway. So yeah, not the best. All right, finally time to switch the wheels over from these ugly G35s. Sun is going down, it is getting pretty fucking cold, but let's switch this shit out. Hopefully it'll be on the other wheels before the sun's gone and we can actually see the fucking car again. <sighs> FYI, this is actually the highest that my car adds up to right here. This is the highest height. Um, you know, it's not bad, but it is definitely lower than stock, obviously. Um, and so getting in and out of entrances is not ideal. Um, and that is why all my shit is fucked up. Goddamn, look at how good those headlights look. Shout out to Dallas for buying this uh, super nice Daytona three-ton jack like two seconds ago. Comes in very handy. Boy, we back. Forget how heavy these motherfuckers are. Oh, in case you hadn't noticed, I am wearing the uh, the Riverside Limited Edition windbreakers, and under this, I have the Limited Edition Riverside shirts, which has this car on it, so pretty ironic that I'm working on this shit and wearing this. If you want one, the, the jackets have super, super limited numbers. Um, there is only a select few in certain sizes, but you can pick them up at the booth on the day of Riverside, so March 14th. Um, the shirts, we still got a bunch of those, so. Come through at Riverside, pick one up from the booth. Shirts are 30, jackets are 60. Plug. It's funny that like, you know, I had these, these wheels on this car for a decently long period of time, but like having them off of the car for a long period of time and then putting them back on, it's like, it's like they're brand new to me again. I'm just, just as excited as I was when, uh, when I first tested these wheels. It's a good feeling. Who can relate? Ho, 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 ho. Boy. If I dropped the lug nut on the lip of the VIP modulus, which I have done, I'd cry. I haven't cried, but I probably would now. <laughs> this is actually a really nice neighborhood, and uh, people that drive by, or like old couples that are walking by, or walking their dog or whatever, are just like staring at this driveway full of old ass cars being worked on. It looks like a fucking, a used car lot right now in this driveway. I'll show you in a second all the cars we have here. Kind of bummed the uh, the lips of these wheels from where I've like rubbed from having tight fitment in the front. Like the finish got rubbed off a little bit and then when they've sat outside under the carport over winter, they've like rusted a little bit. So I may have to do a little bit of rubbing just to get that off. Yes. I'm low key like, yeah. I'm low key scared. I'm low key scared to just air it out in case like, cause the fitment in the back was so close that if anything is like shifted or whatever. Perfect, flawless, didn't hit a fucking thing. Fuck yes! I haven't even seen it yet. Boy! It 
Oh yeah, I gotta put the, uh, well actually wait, if I put the headlights on right there, it'll blind the camera, but if I put the halos on, I'll see what it, one, there you go. That's on the low setting. Really? Yeah, hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't need headlights anymore. No. God damn. If you need hazard lights, fucking there you go. So I realized that that clip was not doing it justice because it was just blinding the camera. So I'm gonna put the uh, put this shit right here so you can actually like see it better. But so right now I'm at six percent on the brightness for the halos. Look at hundred percent. Ready? Oh, you can't tell in comparison. That looks really blue though. I don't like that. I'm like saving presets right now. There you go. That's like perfect. Hell yeah. Pretty happy with that. And then look at 100%. Boom. Crazy. Purple gang. I should probably show the car since it's on the ground. Oh, that makes me so goddamn happy to see that. Just, and, and if you guys remember from last week's video how bad this looked, look at it now. Touch up paint, you know, unless you're really, really looking for it it's not too bad like i get it. it it's not perfect it's pretty trash but you know take a step back can't tell and of course the rear is just always looking saucy oh my god i'm a happy happy person right now okay so before it gets too dark out here i'll show you everything that's in this driveway there is whatever that is a marina? Marina? Is that what that says? It's a Lincoln. Is that a Lincoln Marina? There's this. There's Dallas's truck. There's this dope ass old Mercedes, which we all really want to do stupid shit to. There is this Q50, which is, I guess, one of Dylan's customers. He was detailing it. Um, and then Dallas's car, which I'm going to talk you through that in a second. So over here, we got this old El Camino. We got this thing that's like basically a mashup of a Thunderbird with, is it a Bel Air? Old ass front end and rear end. Really, really weird kind of mashup car. Um, Cody's VR6 Jetta. I got the Lincoln. And then we have Dylan Skyline. And we have Dallas. Dallas hasn't actually been in the video today. Hey, what's like a up? junkyard out here. Uh, it pretty much is. Yeah, I was just saying that. Well, my car is. We got, we got Dylan's, uh, is that a GTST? Yeah. yeah. GTST, sedan, more doors for less whores. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> RB20 single turbo. Um, can we go to your car and talk about what's going on with it? So, as I said, Riverside is one week away, and Dallas is one of my booth cars. We'll talk about it. <laughs> and no, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> and right now, this is. This is about where we're at with it. So, well, to be honest, there is more, there is other people that are in a way worse spot with their cars and have to be ready for the show next week. But I don't know about all that. What, uh, what, what needs to be done with your car right now? Uh, what we're about to do is send it for Dale. I have to talk to wiring harness because I rubbed through it like an idiot. I never talked to it. You just, you just redid everything on that. Don't be like, Dylan helped me with that. You can see it now. It's all fucking, if you look at this shit, it's all wrapped up and 3M taped and everything like that, zip ties holding it together. Um, Basically, what we got to do is we got to cut little channels uh, like we did for my car and try and feed that thing up to the top. Um, get the skirt back on, the front bumper back on with the lights in. We're also dropping it off for 10 tonight. Yes, it's getting fresh tint which probably we'll talk about in tomorrow's video. If you guys want to know more about chrome tint, I will be directing you to where you can buy chrome tint. Isn't that right? Yes, and where you can get it installed if you're in Louisville. Or, or if you just area. want to travel. We, we know a guy, yeah, I know and he does, great, he does great work. But yeah, there's a, there's a little bit to get done with this car, and it hasn't been driven in how long, Dallas? Nine months. Nine months. So the last time it was in a video was probably the last time it was fucking driven. Well, no. I drove it for Southern Roots. You did? Fall Southern, no, Summer yeah, Southern Yeah, you, you did. So, 
six. Summer Sandwich was late this year, though, wasn't it? August. It, so it was six August. months then. It was about six months. No, five, five, six months. It's been a little while. Kyle's been sitting, um, and so we really just need to get it on the ground and drive it. Um, and just figure out if there's anything that needs to be dealt with. But this car will be getting trailered down to Riverside, mm. of which still gotta get a trailer, Dallas. Don't talk about it. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see us get to Riverside, or smash that subscribe button if you wanna fuck yourself. Liam's gonna add a clip of me driving this car in like two hours down the road. Maybe. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to end this video right here, and then we're going to do a separate video on some stuff with this car tomorrow. So just tune in for that. Got a bunch of content coming, so I'm excited for that, and I'm super happy to have my car back down on the ground. Um, all in prep for Riverside next weekend. It's going to be fucking sick. And if you plan on going to the show, or even if you don't, come out to the show. Um, come say what's up at the booth. Come see us. Come buy some merch. Support. And we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys.